wherever you would like to go in 2011, you might want to pause for a moment and ask yourself if you're clear on what that destination is. Anybody here is married? OK. How long did it take you to plan your married and your, your wedding? Even three weeks is a good example. Uh, anybody here took three weeks to a year to sit down and plan their, their lives, to sit down and figure out what it is I really want, what's important to me, what makes me happy, how am I going to get there? Good, so out of maybe 35, 40 people, we have one or two people. What about the rest of us? Do you get the point? So you want to have breakthroughs in uh, 2011, then you want to know where you're going, okay? And the clearer you are, the better off you'll be as a starting point. How to get there is a completely different story, right? But at least you know where you're going. And by the way, you might decide that you want to go this way, and along the way you're starting, and you discover that, you know what, actually I made a mistake. I need to go that way. That was my story of 2010, okay? And that's okay. You can change. But if you don't have a clear direction or you don't know where you're heading, then today it's this, tomorrow is that. Um, anybody here has a background in biology? There's something called Brownian motion. Anybody has heard of that? Today it's here, tomorrow it's there, there, there. We tend to do the same. Okay, today we want to do this, tomorrow we're there, the next day we're there. We operate this way. And the end result is what? Things happen at random. And all of our energy is way too spread out. If we take all this amount of energy and we focus it on one, two, three, five things, but we're very clear on them, what do you think the result is going to be? A breakthrough. A breakthrough. Someone very wise many, many, many years ago said, many years ago, uh, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, I don't think we're really inventing anything. I think we just re-remember or rediscover. Anybody knows who that wise person was? It was King Solomon. What are you sending out? Thoughts? Vibes. Vibes. Okay. Projection? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in 2011, just like in 2010 and in 2009 and ever since you were born, everything you send out is perceived one way or another. It's perceived by people around you, it's perceived by your environment, it's perceived by you, and if you will, it's perceived by the universe. You call it in any way, shape, and form that you want, but to me it's some force that is greater than us. So to me that big universe is like a big receiver, and we constantly communicate. We constantly send out information, and many times we get stuff back in exchange of what we sent out. And we sent out things with the way we think, with the way we speak, with the way we act, with our attitude, with any and everything about who and what we are. And that's responsibility, because it means that everything is um, being recorded, if you will. So your beliefs shape and affect the way you experience things. So if you're looking for breakthroughs in 2011, then you want to start by asking yourself, what am I really sending out? Because I say I want those different things. I want breakthroughs. I want a partner. I want a better health. I want to lose those 20 pounds. I want a better job. I want more money. And then what's getting in the way? Because how many times we want something, and guess what? It's not happening. It's not coming. And we do everything by the book. We even read The Secret. And we, we, we do our best to follow, right? And it's not coming. And sometimes the exact opposite is coming. How so? Because the question is, what is it that I project? Nobody's going to love me means I actually don't want it. I'm afraid of intimacy means I don't want it. So. This is simple physics. Which is going to be stronger? And many people, when they do some work on themselves and they notice those things, they, slow, then they slowly start letting go of those things that push things away. Because the fact is, many of the things that we really want, we push away. 
When I first asked, only two people raised their hands that they want money. Do you know why that is? Why? Shallow. Okay. If you like money, you're shallow. So what am I sending out? And again, you want to remember this cycle or this um, exchange. And ask yourself, as a starting point, once you figure out what are the things that you want, okay, what are the things that I put out, consciously and subconsciously, and some of it takes reflection, sometimes even uh, some help from someone external, because as you know, I think, it's always easier to see from the outside. 